guys so today i have another wig i have some big i think I almost fit i have some big plans for this wig uh i am so excited it's been something i've been wanting to do for a long time and i won't give too many spoilers but i'll show you the wig i'm not gonna put it on right now because i just finished um pulling my hair back uh this is the wig by the way this isn't this isn't my hair but i just got the package i just finished putting this hair up so it wouldn't get in the way while i was doing this and yes so it is from julia hair company this is from julia hair company and i haven't opened the package yet so i have no idea what this hair looks like or what it smells like or um if it looks good or any of that stuff yet so i'm about to move some stuff out of the way so i can show you inside the package comes i got brazilian i believe it's a 14 inch if not then i'll correct myself but i believe this is a 14 inch and inside of the packaging comes oh cool there comes a uh one of those bands that you put into the wig they kind of remind me of like bra strap bands so it looks like this and it's to help your wig um become tighter a wig cap in black unfortunately i wish it was in a different color but a wig cap in black um and then just more care instructions this is really cute you know i thought i would have had to dye their roots or something but this is nice as it is so this is the wig this is the front it is 14 inches i believe um the dark part of the roots are actually dark brown and i expected them to be black but this ombre is gorgeous i'm having second thoughts about dyeing this wig now because i plan on dyeing it a certain color but oh, this is pretty. So this is the inside of the cap. There are one, two, three, three comb attachments, a draw strap in the back. Um, the lace goes really far back. I think this is a 13 by four. Okay, this is what the wig is looking like. My hair isn't fully braided down as you saw in the earlier clip. Um, so it isn't laying as flat as I would like it to be, but it is good enough. Now, I don't think blonde is for me personally. Not a big fan of the shade of blonde that it is right now. But if it was like more of an ashy, if it was more of like an ashy blonde, I feel like I could get away with it, but this is not the color blonde that I would go for. I'm trying to figure out um the lace area i'm not sure if my head is just like a weird shape or if it's because my hair isn't braided down all the way but if i were to want to glue this down i definitely would have to cut off some in the in the on the ear tab area yeah i'd have to figure out the spacing right here i think i just need to cut a little bit so that it would lay right here instead of so lay right here, I don't know if you can see me, lay right here instead of like back here behind my ear. I might have to like cut into this little area right here. Let me pull up the other side so you can see the hairline. All right, so when you see it zoomed in, clearly this does not fit my head, but I was thinking to myself, okay, it's just because my hair isn't braided down enough underneath this, um, but you will see me struggle to put this wig on in just a second. Um, but yeah, the hairline is plucked very nicely. I feel like if the cap size was bigger, this would have been a beautiful wig in my collection, but yes. I'm using the Kiss Hair Dye in Limelight, and this color is so freaking pretty. So what I did, I did about half the bottle there, and then I mixed it in. In order to do this method, you just need some hot water and your hair dye, and uh, just put them together in a big container. And then, of course, your blonde hair. Make sure you really mix up the hair dye inside the thing, though. Otherwise, you'll, you'll probably get patches in the hair like I did. So I did a little test strand here and I, I like the color but I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant so I added in the rest of the hair dye that was in the bottle.
After that, all you have to do, honestly, is dunk in the hair that you're planning to dye. This method is super easy. I found it on YouTube. I have no idea who invented it. I'm sorry. I've seen so many people do this method. I'm not sure who started it, but props to them because this is saving so much hair dye and time and everything. So this is what the hair looked like after dyeing it with one bottle and I think it looked really nice but I did end up going in with I think one more bottle of hair dye. I got some more from the store. This is what it looked like in the final result. I'm still trying to figure out why this wig cap isn't fitting me so I was like okay maybe it's because um, it's just not cut to match my head size so I cut it so what that my ears could be out and it wasn't as weird. I don't know. Uh, it's just because I have a big head and this, this cap was too small. It was just a hot mess. And I was trying so hard to make it work, but it was just not working for me. So about this hair, I really like the color of the wig. Um, everything was pretty much in its place, how it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to smell. Um, everything inside of the wig was really nice. The only thing is, I wish I would have gotten a bigger cap size because my head is way too big for this wig. And unfortunately, I cannot actually do the frontal part because um, I got a big old head. I feel like if the cap size was one, size bigger i would have been able to do it i'm kind of upset that i can't but this is fine um i tend to wear glasses anyway so if i were to wear this hair out i wouldn't even bother i don't like i wouldn't care too much i probably would redo this hairstyle again i think it's really cute all i did was do two pigtails in the front the rest of it is out and again the hair dye that i use is called limelight and it is from kiss um yeah i ended up going back in with another bottle when the hair was almost dry because i felt like there were a lot of spots in the back that weren't dyed and it bothered me a lot so i was like i gotta fix it otherwise it's gonna bug me okay thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other styles that you want me to try out let me know i did this kind of on a whim because i wanted to do green hair and i saw a bunch of e-girls online had green hair all right thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time